My previous video covered the recent Waxgate controversy and made recommendations for preventing this sort of thing in the future. I also demonstrated many shot effects that are different under slick or wax conditions compared to typical conditions. Draw is easier. Side spin reacts less off cushions. Pockets play larger. The cue ball persists along the tangent line longer. Follow shots stall off rails. Rolling kicks and banks go longer. Balls throw less. Kick and stick shots react differently. Shallow angle follow shots scratch more easily. And masse shots are more impressive. In this video, I look at some additional effects that are important to know when playing under slick or waxed conditions. I also compare the effects of turtle wax versus silicone spray. Viewers who watch my videos regularly will probably notice that the table in this video looks different. That's because I recently replaced the rails and pockets. My next video will show a thorough comparison of the new and old rails and pockets. The main difference affecting this video is the new cloth on the cushions. New cloth plays slick. With my old rails on a humid day, I was able to kick long of the corner with maximum right side spin. And the waxed cue ball came up short. With the slick cloth on the new rails, a normal cue ball comes up short of the corner. A cue ball waxed with turtle wax comes up well short. And a cue ball sprayed and wiped with silicone comes up even shorter. Silicone lubricant makes the cue ball even slicker than wax, causing less side spin reaction on the cushion. We know from my previous video that draw is easier under slick conditions. Here's a good test shot, trying to draw back to the end rail. Under normal conditions, it is easy to come up short, even with a full stroke. Here are two more examples showing that my stroke is consistent. With turtle wax, using the same stroke, it is easy to draw even more than necessary. Again, here are two more showing good, but not perfect, consistency. With silicone spray, a similar amount of draw, maybe slightly more, is possible with the same stroke. Notice the cue ball really peeling out after hitting the 8 and then accelerating dramatically. This is a clear sign of slick or waxed conditions. Also notice how easily the cue ball scratches. As we saw in my previous video, the pockets play larger under slick conditions, especially with new cloth on the cushions. Another effect of slick conditions is reverse spin does not work well. Here's a good example from the collection of side spin shots available at the link below in the description or pinned comment. Even with the new cloth on the cushions, I have no trouble getting shape on the 8 with a normal cue ball. But with turtle wax, the side spin doesn't reverse the cue ball direction enough. And at faster speed, things are worse since the cue ball swings out more due to the slick conditions. Also notice how long it takes for the side spin to wear off. Side spin persistence is another effect of slick conditions. Here's the silicone spray at both shot speeds. It causes the cue ball to grab even less and swing out even more. Now let's look at the effect of slick conditions on two rail and three rail kicks. For the two rail kick, I am using the standard benchmark shot for the plus system, which is covered in detail at the link below. Aiming at diamond number five on the short rail with running spin causes the cue ball to head five diamonds up table to the corner. Here, I pocket the eight for the win. With turtle wax, the cue ball goes slightly longer but still pockets the eight. 
Silicone spray sends the cue ball even longer. Notice how the side spin does not react much on the first rail, and how the cue ball swings out more on the way to the second rail. Both effects send the cue ball longer. For the three rail kick, I am using the standard benchmark shot for the corner 5 system, which is also covered in detail at the link below. On most pull tables, aiming between the second and third diamonds on the first rail with running spin sends the cue ball to the adjacent corner off three rails. Again, I am attempting to pocket the 8 for the win. The normal cue ball works fine. With turtle wax, the cue ball goes long. And with silicone spray, the cue ball goes even longer. Slick conditions make jump shots slightly easier, especially when using backspin. Here's the normal cue ball first. Because there is friction between the cue ball and cloth, not much backspin is imparted to the cue ball and it wears off completely on the first bounce. Without enough speed for a longer jump with more backspin, the cue ball follows forward resulting in a scratch. Here it is with turtle wax. I am using a stronger stroke here, but more backspin can be imparted to the cue ball since there is less friction between the cue ball and cloth. Also, the backspin does not wear off as much during the bounces. The action is even better with silicone spray. Notice how the backspin remains, giving draw, even after a second bounce. Now let's look at the effect of slick conditions on cue ball deflection when using side spin. Remember, when you hit the cue ball off center, in this case on the right, the cue ball does not go straight. It squirts off to the left and swerves back to the right some. The resulting aiming line error at the object ball is called net cue ball deflection. The amount of squirt depends only on the cue and the amount of side spin, but swerve depends on many things, including the condition of the ball and cloth. For more information, see the links below. To compare different conditions, I am aiming the cue ball straight up table for a square hit on the 8 without compensating my aim for cue ball deflection. I first accurately aim center ball, and then I do a parallel shift to the right for maximum side spin. I look down with my eyes before each shot to make sure the edge of my cue is in the same place relative to the diamond on the rail to ensure a consistent aim. For a medium fast shot, using my Predator Revo with maximum spin, the normal cue ball deflects quite a bit. I barely clip the edge of the 8. Here are two more shots to show consistent results. Here are three consistent shots with turtle wax instead. The extra cue ball deflection causes the cue ball to miss the 8 entirely. With silicone spray, the cue ball deflection is even larger. Obviously, if you don't know how to compensate your aim with side spin shots, you will not be very effective using side spin, especially if playing under a variety of conditions. As an example, here is the normal cue ball again. I use the system for aiming with side spin, or saws, to get accurate lines of aim when using side spin. See the link below for more information. With saws, I get an accurate square hit on the 8. Be aware that with a square hit, the cue ball does not kiss straight back due to the throwing action of the side spin. Saws has an adjustment to deal with differences in conditions. For example, with the silicone spray cue ball, I need to aim slightly differently, again with good results. As always, see the links below in the description or pinned comment for more information and examples. And good luck with your game from Dr. Dave!